Today I would like to talk to y'all about something specific to me, and that is gaming. Um, the, and I really want to talk about Activision, which is the creators of Call of Duty. I have been gaming since I was 8, in 2008, and um, I started playing video games on the first and second generation Xbox and Playstations. Um, it wasn't until 2010 when my gaming career really took off, and I started playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, um, which was the eighth one they had released, um, but it was about sixth grade and I was being homeschooled at the time. So when in my free time, I would go play Xbox for like 10 hours a day and I was playing when I wasn't doing training for my dyslexia because um, I was at home all day and I was homeschooled. So it's just it was just a whole different vibe. Um, but when I was playing and I was playing for hours a day, the competitors I was playing against were at least twice my age like their late early late twenties, early thirties. Um, at and this time though, the gaming scene was still new and I was at the forefront it was to come. And unfortunately I was held back because of my age and because of the age restrictions on the game. Activision is way bigger than me and my personal impact of their games. Activision began when some of Atari coders wanted to get royalties and recognition for their games that they had created, which was present in the music industry because they singers were able to get compensation for their work and recognition for it but at this time the gaming industry did not so the coders david crane alan miller bob whitehead jim levy and larry kaplan um who had asked ceo of atari ray Cass for new contracts um to be paid for their games and their royalties he refused and so they all left atari then, on October 1st, 1997, Activision was created and was the first company to become an independent developer and distributor of video games for gaming consoles. Um, this was a big thing because most consoles and games were sold by the same company, and so they wanted to make namesake of Activision. And so they did this in a striking way to Atari as well, by making the namesake of Activision over a grudge with Atari, and that it became... It was in front of Atari in the phone book, and so they were able to be looked up first. Um, this also was a combination of Active and Television, which obviously Activision. Um, Activision today is in Santa Monica, California, but it was founded in Sunnyvale, California by the four gang, the four coders that left Atari. After leaving Atari, Activision was in a long legal battle with Atari that lasted until 1982 which is when Activision started to get some steam in the gaming community. During this time, they acquired Infocom in 1986, which made Activision take the leap into first-person shooters, which is where I come in later. In 1988, they rebranded to Medigenic in hopes of getting out of the financial trouble and to get a fresh start during the crash of the gaming world. Um, however, they were able to sustain long enough to change back in 1992 to Activision and move its headquarters to Los Angeles. Then, in 1997, they decided to acquire and invest more and more into these first-person shooting games, acquiring Ravensoft, um, Neversoft, and Infinity Ward, and Treyarch, who are the beloved creators of Call of Duty that we know and love today. In doing these investments and in Acquiring these companies, Activision would set itself up to be the world's biggest gaming third-party distributor of video games in the world today. Because of all these achievements and investments that Activision has done, the company has released so many notable games and has become a family, family home name in the gaming community. Um, the release of the specific Call of Duty series is predominantly what has been part of my entertainment and enjoyment in life. Um, so in 2007, when um, Activision merged with BD Games, who owns Blizzard Games, which are the creators of Overwatch, my like second favorite and second most strategic game, um, it also set Activision way on before any of their four the four gang founding members could imagine. Um, they became one of the biggest gaming corporations in the world today as we know it. Um, and in just one short year after 2000, in 2008, after merging 2007 with BD Games, Activision was worth $18.9 billion. And that's 2008. That's 
so much more money in today's value. The goals of these Activision founders, also known as the Gang of Four, was to create video games for the masses of millions, but at the same time reap the recognition and benefit they were not allowed at Atari. And I feel like when thinking about this brand, they're all about inclusivity and being able to keep your scores and records and things as something to brag about. And I, as a young child, was able to hone in my skills and be on the leaderboards to find, like, to be able to brag about. And so in the early years of Activision, they were looking for gamers and coders who were very overachievers and were willing to spend the nights and hours to make sure all the details and graphics were perfect so that people like me and people who would emerge to be as good as me or better than me can make these monies and things for people all over the world to enjoy and see. And it's becoming one of the biggest industries in today's world. Um, and since they were the first third-party game developers and distributors in their marketplace, they controlled the rules and details of how to participate in this ever-growing market in the beginning and over time. The reason Activision is very important not only to me but millions of gamers that play their games is because of the outlet and achievements as a company they have offered. Um, Activision's products offer more than just um, a gaming experience of war. It acts, it, it, pro it provides a whole moralistic approach to personal life and teachings that people don't really understand in games. Personally, I believe that because of all the efforts and achievements that the founders and coders at Activision have done to advance the world of gaming, which has given me a lifetime amount of enjoyment and comfort um, through all my hardships, this brand is meant for everyone because in, in our technological society that we live in today, Wi-Fi is everywhere, um, handheld devices, gaming devices are everywhere, and being part of my brand, Activision, it can be part of your brand as well because they're in the minds and lives of millions of people right now worldwide and they're constantly making new games and constantly updating things and while on these things you're able to build connections with people around the world and have very short interactions maybe sometimes long interactions if you friend them and be able to learn how to communicate with people just not in person but also over text phone which is part of our bustling society that we live in today and with a lot of young gamers there's lots of influencers and programmers sharing their life and game tips and activision products have all the credit for this because they have affect everyone's way of life for these kids and allowing these gamers to have a full-time job of gaming and make, making content um and activision has been very good to the gaming community and allowing them to have this access and that's why i believe that anyone should be able to play but i I highly suggest Activision games because they, they're they not only attached to my generation specifically because of the vast number of technological advances we have in gaming right now that we were fortunate to have as kids, like when I was eight and having an Xbox and not a stick or a rock to throw. And then on top of that, it's given me some life skills that you can't you couldn't have learned in school at my age when I was 10 playing against pro gamers. It helped me hone in my leadership skills when I was playing. I strategized in many game modes that would require you to have strategy to defuse a bomb or capture a flag or take hold down a point. And I'd have to manage five of my other teammates and the reactions to plays happening in the game and for it to be able to, and for me to be able to adapt so frequently in the changing events in the game while staying under control, maintaining um, excellence for my team. This game has helped me to realize that I can overcome many other obstacles in my life when I was going through different difficult times um, because of school and being dyslexic and always being a little bit of a slow learner to begin with. But I was able to learn quickly in like other like in these video games and in math, which it predominantly uses geometry and things like that. So when I would play with my friends when I got to high school or um, my cousins. I was able to have those connections, but then I was able to have personal connections with them after. Um, but then after 
I was done playing with my friends and I ran out of friends to play with at home, I could go online and play with a million other people around the world and be able to connect and have something um, meaningful for even just short periods of time. And I feel like that has given me the communication skills and public speaking skills that I think this class has tried to instill in us. And I believe that like each lobby that I play in has its own rhetorical situation and the power division between the players is even until you hear the match start or when you log on and you get that first invite. But I believe that anyone who has been able to play any of the Activision games, but specifically the Call of Duty ones, um, has been able to gain these same skills in life lessons that I was able to. And even though it may not be for everyone, there may be different um, Activision games that you have, unlike Call of Duty, they were the ones that I enjoyed and was able to work with. And I feel like um, everyone, even if you don't have a console, there's video games that Activision makes these days that anyone can play. Just think about Angry Birds in 2011, how popular it was. And now we have a multi-billion dollar company these days, like today, in today's day, that have been able to um, streamline all these codes so that people like me who are in college can escape when stressed or during this quarantine time when we can't go out and we're trying to connect with our friends, I'm able to get online, speak, and keep up, and keep, just see how people's lives are going, if they're safe, if anyone's been affected in their family or friends they know, um, and if everyone in their family's still just trekking away or not. And Activision has given me this platform because they just released the 2019 mod Call of Duty Modern Warfare 16, or Call of Duty 16 Modern Warfare, which is a spinoff and a reboot of the first game when I in 2011 that I was competitive with, which was Call of Duty 4, um, or Modern Warfare 3 in 2012. And so playing these and getting such a skill gap, I have friends when I log on that want to play, and then I have a connection. I may have never even met some of these friends. Some of them I have, some of them I haven't, but I still know about their personal lives. I'm able to kind of hear their struggles for the week. We kind of like be able to unwind and de-stress. And so I feel like this game has not also not only helped my mentality, but has helped me as a person to grow and experience. And I just feel that everyone needs to be able to play video games so they can be able to de-stress. Because Activision's um, giving Activision giving us Call of Duty and it being based on World War and then evolving into so much more w in which it is today. Um, Yes, it's violent, and I was not able to play in competitions because of my age gap, even though my parents were allowed, allowed me to buy the game. Um, you're still shooting things that aren't real, and it, yes, can be mentally weird for some parents and um, psychologists to understand, but it does stress relax when you are doing really good in the game, and it's pretty easy, and you're just kind of destroying kids. And it makes it feel like there's a competition and it gives you a strive to log on the next day to do better, to then do even better against your opponents. And that's why I believe everyone should buy a Call of Duty and be a part of the gaming community.